This is Dustin Sanchez, Dustin Sanchez TV. Dot com. Today we're talking about how to use LinkedIn to get paying clients. Okay, building your business has never been easier than it is right now on LinkedIn.com. Okay, and right now we're going to talk about optimizing your banner image. Some people call it a background, some people call it a header image, <clears throat> some people call it the banner image. Okay, but you can optimize your banner image so that your profile is more likely to generate leads and let's just i'm going to share the screen here and bring in a couple of those let's see i'm going to show my banner image first okay <clears throat> let's show this in the stream make myself a bit smaller here okay so you can see at the top of my banner image, this is what I'm talking about. This square, this rectangle right here. Uh, a lot of people have just a standard banner image. What I did was I took an image of me speaking. Okay, this is a speaking engagement, talking to a bunch of other attorneys. Uh, full disclosure, that's not me speaking. That's just a stock image, but it kind of looks like me from behind. So if there was no uh, writing on this, you could, you would see this person talking to a bunch of other business professionals. So if you just glance at it, it looks like me giving a speech. And then what I've done is I've written probably in letters that are too small, message me to learn how I help lawyers get more clients. I did that on canva.com. Um, <clears throat> what I should have done was just outsourced it to fiverr.com and had someone on there make me a proper banner image. Um, I also wrote Texas lawyer and attorney marketing expert. And then I put the name of my business. Why am I doing this? Because I want it to be obvious at the very top of my profile, exactly how I help people. I also want to use this header image, not only to just make it incredibly obvious as to how I help people, but also to convince people to contact me. Okay. So I say, I give my website, dustinsanchestv.com slash contact. You can contact me from the website or you can just message me right here on LinkedIn. Um, <clears throat> I'm getting the most use as I possibly can out of this little banner image here. And then also, um, sorry, out of this banner image. Okay. The most use that I possibly can out of this banner image. Also, I am throwing some social proof in there. Okay. For instance, this is me interviewing Jerry Ojinski, a lawyer, a New York injury attorney. This is me interviewing Angela Langlotz, the trademark doctor and Shannon Quadros, a, an attorney out of Houston. And this is just me making a video. Okay. But <clears throat> I'm trying to one, I'm trying to tell people what I do. How do I help people? I'm using this banner image to tell people that, okay, message me to learn how I help lawyers get more clients. Okay. Basically I help lawyers get more clients. I'm also, in addition to telling people how I help, how I help people, I'm trying to convince them to call me. Okay. So either call me or message me. And I say, message me as in send me a LinkedIn message. Let's talk. Let's start a conversation. I also put Dustin Sanchez TV.com slash contact. Not only is it my domain name, my website, but it's also the contact page. Okay. And then the social proof as well. And then me giving a speech kind of positions me as a thought leader. Now let's look at Angela Langlotz, her profile. She also does a very good job of using this banner image here. Okay. You can see here's her logo, trademark doctor. Here's exactly what she does in giant, bold letters. You know, the letters on my profile were small. Angela does a better job of slapping you in the face with how she helps people. It says intellectual property attorney, copyright, trademarks, licensing. Okay. This whole thing tells you what she does, how she helps people. So she does a very good job there. What I might improve. I don't know that I would improve anything. You don't always have to tell people to contact you here in the header, but what you never want to do is waste an opportunity in this giant header image to tell people how you can help them. 
Okay. And she does a great job of doing that. Let's move on to Aaron Miller. Okay. So here's Aaron Miller. Uh, he says Miller law office, elder law estate planning. Um, <clears throat> I would like to see this a bit more personalized, but if we're just getting down to the nitty gritty of this whole thing, he does tell people how he helps them. Elder law estate planning. Most people, uh, the lay person doesn't really know what elder law means. So what I would do is write something like, I help you take care of mom and dad, or I help, I prevent uh, your, I make sure you have a will in place and so that your family is taken care of in the event that something happens to you, slash estate planning elder law. I would put something personal, like how I help people, not, this isn't really how he helps people. This is a practice area, elder law and estate planning. Make it personal, okay? Let's take a look at Goggin Khan. She's a real estate attorney out of Houston. You should Google her. She makes really great videos, okay? But what she could improve right now is she just left this blank, okay? So you look at, you compare, say, Aaron Miller to Angela Langlotz, okay? Angela Langlotz telling people exactly how she helps. She writes copyrights, trademarks, licensing, Okay, Aaron Miller, he's telling people the name of his law office at least and the practice area of his law office. In a perfect world, it'd be a bit more personal. I help people by making sure if you die, your family's taken care of, something like that, okay? I help people by making sure nobody fights over your estate when you die, something like that, something personal, something that grabs people's attention. But Erin Miller is doing a better job than Gog and Khan. You know, she's just, she may have a great rest of her profile, but boy, is she wasting an opportunity here to really tell people how she can help them to turn this LinkedIn entire profile into a lead generation machine. Let's take a look at Hannah Henry, Henry Bell. She is a divorce lawyer out of Austin, Texas. You should go Google her. Her online footprint is impressive. Okay. Now, what does she do? She personalizes this banner image by putting a giant picture of herself. Um, what I don't like, okay, this is a slogan, genuine, honest, compassionate. It's, it's wasted of words. It should say, I help people by doing this. You know, this slogan could be on a dentist LinkedIn profile. This slogan could be on a lawn care professional's LinkedIn profile. This slogan could be on a financial planner's LinkedIn profile. You know, it's it's just general. Get personal, get specific, tell people how you help help them. You know, even this, you can you cannot look at this and tell that she is a divorce lawyer. She helps people get divorced or she helps people who need family law assistance. This entire slogan could be on any business plan. It could be on a business planner. Imagine you went to a business planner's LinkedIn and it said genuine, honest, compassionate. First we listen, then we build a plan. You have no idea that she's an attorney, much less a divorce attorney. So make it personal, make it specific. Let's take a look at Thomas Holmes. Thomas Holmes is a business lawyer out of Houston. Uh, just completely wasted an opportunity here. Tommy, come on, get on your game, brother. Go put something like I help businesses make more money by ensuring all of their legal needs are met. You know, something personal that says you're a business lawyer and how you help businesses. Okay, let's look at one last, this is guy is named Nate P.O. You should go follow him on LinkedIn because he's doing everything right. Okay, and right here, personal picture here. Business flows when networks grow. So obviously he helps businesses grow their networks. Okay, building personal brands. That's right there is telling you exactly what he does. Now, what if he had said, I'm honest and I'm compassionate? You wouldn't have any clue of what he did, does. He says, I'm building personal brands. I'm a corporate brands personality. Okay. If he had just said, I'm honest, compassionate and professional, you wouldn't know what he does. So think about that as you are creating your <clears throat> LinkedIn banner image. I'm Dustin Sanchez, DustinSanchezTV.com. Drop me a comment if you have any questions. Peace out.